This is Twit. I have one science story I wanted to touch on before we move on to our our main section, uh, and that is, uh, uh, you know, for folks wondering, uh, time travels faster when you're on Mars. And I thought this was like fascinating. Mona Ravasetti at space.com brought this one uh, to us, and it was a new study by uh, by scientists who realized that on average, time passes on Mars. 477 millionths of a second faster every day, or I should say Sol, right? Because that's Mars. Uh, then it does on Earth, all because of Albert Einstein's like theory of general relativity. And I could show you all of the equations, but I'm going to be really honest, everybody, I don't understand <laughs> them, right? And uh, <laughs> but but it has to do with uh, with just like the, the gravitational in, like like vagaries of. Uh, of of three or four other bodies there, so that make it uh, the, just the, the way that those that those gravitational influences of like the Earth and the Sun and Mars and its moons all like like interact. Uh, these scientists Neil Ashby and uh, Bajunath Patla at the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Those are the folks that tell you if an inch is an inch and a mile is a mile, right? And a second is a second, but not on Mars apparently because it's one four hundred and seventy seven millionths you know, faster or shorter or something like that. So, well, that's, yeah, that's, that, I mean, that's what relativity says, right? Time is, is all relative. I mean, people who, who, you know, have seen interstellar, you know, when you go to a planet that's close to a supermassive black hole, time slows down, right? Cause you're in the presence of an immense gravitational field. Just, just, just like all the sci-fi stories, if you're traveling at an appreciable kind of fraction of the speed of light, time is slower for, for you. Right. So like if you're in a spaceship and you go 50% the speed of light and you come back to earth, like, like everybody on earth is like way older than you are. Time has not moved as fast for you. So this is, this is like one aspect of that, but on a much, much like lower level, obviously. I feel like the reverse. I read a story like this. I feel like I'm way older than everybody else. I have to tell you. They, <laughs> they said, they said that, uh, uh the Patlow, the scientist said that, that there's, the, there's this three body problem. Like that's really hard to solve, right? People have been trying to wrangle with it, with gravity and, and planets and whatever forever. Uh, and so they're saying that this is actually a four body problem problem which makes it even harder there's there's mars which you're talking about um there's the sun there's earth and then there's the moon and like all of those things working like in, in like trying to calculate all of those that's what like uh uh gets complicated when you factor in the distance between mars and the sun and the eccentricity of its orbit which makes the variations in time larger it, it's it's just crazy that the yeah. time can move differently on a planet and what makes mars so special to me that's the question because if, if it's if it flows differently on mar on mars does that mean that it's different on like jupiter or yes. yeah. <laughs> or definitely. or or god forbid uranus right so no no <laughs> yeah thank you for definitely. laughing mike thank you <laughs> no um <laughs> it's nice to know that we have the same sense of humor What's what's kind of interesting about the study too is that you know they're they were talking John is about shaking his head at my Uranus <laughs> joke right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, go ahead. I interrupted no, I, you, Mike. No, I was just saying um, um, it's this has practical applications as 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 the authors noted in the study. I mean, stuff like GPS and for comms and stuff like that, like from planet to planet, like you have to have the timing down, really, like to to the microsecond or or like have an adjustment if you know the timing is off. So that's right. That's so right. actually knowing what the difference is on Mars, how much faster it moves on Mars will allow you to make those adjustments to to kind of mount better Mars missions, which, I mean, it doesn't make a difference now. We have just, just a few operational spacecraft at Mars. But if you have like whole fleets and say we have like a human city on Mars and we have all this infrastructure there and you have GPS there for people, then that's really going to make a difference that you know what the difference is in the in, in the like how fast time travels on Mars compared to on Earth, and you can make the adjustments for, for like interplanetary communication and all that stuff to keep a civilization going. Yeah, NASA does want to build the Mars Telecommunications Orbiter, and I guess Elon wants to send like a bajillion people to Mars on yes, starships, right? So, yeah. If you like what you just saw, be sure to check out This Week in Space. You can catch us on your favorite podcast app or subscribe to our YouTube channel using the links below. Thanks. Thanks.